Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about the key math skill of calculating a percentage. You might ask, why am I doing math in biology? Well, it actually turns out that biology and other types of science, like chemistry and physics, involve huge amounts of math. And calculating a percentage is one of them. Now, how do you calculate a percentage? Well, you divide the number of parts by the total, and then you multiply by 100. For example, if in a biology problem you're told that 200 people in a population of 800 have the allele for blue eyes, what is that percentage? Well, the number of parts, 200, divided by the number of the total, which is 800, this equals 0 0.25 times 100 equals 25%. So 25% of this population has the allele for blue eyes. You can also use your understanding of how to calculate a percentage to work backwards if given the percentage. For example, in a class of 30, 10% get the flu. How many is this? Well, here, you're given the percentage, you're given the total, and you're being asked how many of the parts, so how many people get the flu in this class. And this is how you do that. 10%, if we're working backwards, divided by 100 equals 0 0.10. And so now we've got this proportion here, the parts divided by the total. So multiply by the total and you get three. So here, three students get the flu in this class because three is 10% of 30. You can also use your understanding of how to calculate a percentage to do some more difficult problems involving something like PPM. PPM is parts per million, so it's a unit of concentration. So for example, if you're told that the level of dissolved sulfates in a polluted lake is 5,000 PPM, what percent is this? Well, if it's 5,000 parts per million, that is written like this, 5,000 over a million, we can cancel three zeros, and we're left with five divided by a thousand, which is equal to 0.5%. So that is how you calculate a percent in various applications of biology. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.